Yo, Alex Delaney here on Van Brunt Street in Red Hook, Brooklyn, standing in front of the famous hometown barbecue. Best barbecue in New York. I'm here to eat everything on the menu. You know how it works. I'm gonna be eating ribs, sausages, brisket, maybe a sandwich or two, and to help, I brought a buddy along with me, Brad Leone. Titty, I'm starving. What are we doing? Let's we're go. Fasting for 40 hours. Brad, you ever been here before? I have, a couple times, yeah. It's uh, it's quite the, uh, the cozy spot. Do you remember anything you ordered? No, because I didn't order anything. So what and you're telling us, you mean you have not eaten through the entire menu? I have not had one of everything on the menu, so I'm the perfect <laughs> guest to have with you. And you've been on the show before. I have, yeah, with JG Mail, that was great. So you know the rules? Yeah, one of everything, you know? Everything. <laughs> what, are, what are the rules? All right. Oh, have? you need a refresher? Uh, give me the quick one. Okay. We order one of everything on the yeah, menu. Yeah, I just said that. We can only take one perfect bite of each thing. Perfect. It's got to be perfect. <laughs> and we get to decide how we order, and then we figure out what the best things on the menu are. And then what? Like oh, bonus man. round is like favorite drink? If we want to do a bonus round, yeah, sure. We get to decide how we're doing this. Where should we start? There's a ton on this menu. How about we start with some chicken wings? Chicken wings? You know, a little, little nibble to start. I love it. All right, Brad. Vietnamese hot wings, what are we looking at? First impressions. Beautiful color, I love that it's a whole wing. I'm a sucker for a whole oh, wing. Oh yeah, I'm all flap. Yeah, all flap all the time. It's the best part of the If way. you're a drum person, you're only living half your life. Go flap. So well, what's the deal? Is he, is he smoking them and then deep frying them? Everything here gets oh, smoke. touched by smoke. Oh, yeah. kiss the smoke and oh, then- kiss the smoke. A little flash fry. I'm gonna bite from the flap as well. Are we gonna lady and trade this or what? No, we're definitely not gonna do that. <laughs> I, I don't like you that much. Pick yeah. your fighter, man. Yeah, I'm gonna pick my wing. Okay. Oh. I'm gonna need to take a shower after this. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna do ranch oh, on its a finger. Yeah, me too. Has a little tang to it. For sure. Yogurt, right? All right. <laughs> All right. Sure. Try the wing. I'm gonna put a little on my my perfect. Oh, bite. he doesn't like ranch. That was not the perfect bite. <laughs> I really underachieved there. I'm going in for more. Dude, first menu item, you take, you break the rule? Yeah. Oh, I got a little bit of the heat. A little tang in the end. <laughs> That's the name of the show. Culinary Torture with Alex Delaney. Well, I guess you're just doing whatever you want at this point, huh? Yeah. Brad, sauce, perfect balance between the heat and the spice, right? Perfect. Like, you get the heat and then the... You have sauce all over your face. I, know, I can't you, even I look at you. Well, then don't. <laughs> <laughs> What's next, bud? Since we can only have one bite, let's get these out of my face before I bite them all. All right, we're in it, Delaney. We got a tray full of tacos here, bud. Brad, you want to take any pictures or no? Uh, what? I'm sorry, I'm a millennial. It's, it's... All right, look, I'll run it through. <laughs> Hometown Barbecue does tacos. We have brisket, pulled pork, and a Oaxacan chicken. Ooh. What are you supposed to do, bite that? Like a, like <laughs> I mean, a, yes. Like a jerk? I bet you I can get one of these whole in my mouth, one bite. Let's go. Cheers. Cheers to food? No. Mm. Nice fatty, nice smoke, a lot of creaminess. Pickles, huge. Pickles amazing. All right, so slaw, slaw fried onion, jalapeno. jalapeno, pulled pork. Do it. You all right over there? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Fried onions. Makes everything better. It's right. almost like a little rip on like a like a cool kind of barbecue sandwich. It's it leans like a little more Carolina style to me, right? Sure. Vinegary, yeah. Mixed exactly. with the pork fat, delicious. Yeah, last one. This is the chicken. This is the chicken. Oh, I might pop this whole one. This is the one. This is the one. I'm not gonna be able to talk for 30 seconds. That's fine, I'll talk. <laughs> <laughs> Dry rub on the chicken. You can tell there's tons of chili going on. A mm -hmm. little bit of like warm spice, maybe like some cumin. I mean the red onion brightens the whole thing up. I like the chicken the best. I might too. God, what do we got here, bud? Billy shot me a couple wine recommendations. Billy's all about, you know, natural wine, small producers. That smells nice. It smells like cherries. Cool I mean, cherry, right? Yeah, if not your industrial large. Swill. Swill. Well, cheers to that. Thanks, Billy, for making the right choice. <sighs> oh, yeah. Brad, we're finishing our appetizers with some Korean sticky ribs topped with... It's a healthy appetizer. Oh, healthy appetizer. Fried shallots, toasted cashews, and garlic up top. Oh, it's sticky. They got that. Bang what off do you, a little. You, I want to bang off a little. What are you... Hey, do? it's my perfect bite, not yours. Oh, with that kind of glazed rib, that texture is perfect. Whenever people are like, oh, ribs, got to fall off the bone, got to do whatever. No. No, 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 no. You want, you want a little be, bite. You want to be able to take a bite. I don't want the bone to come out. No, 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 no. You don't want to be able to pull the bone right off of the meat. Texturally, that is a perfect rib. <laughs> Barbecue joints will always make a big deal about their sides, right? It's always the thing. Before we get into these, let's talk wine again. Here you go. Austrian sparkling rosé. Love Austrian wine. From Meinklang. Oh, which I is, knew that. Which is, hold on, one sec, the world's largest biodynamic winery. Great job, Austria. Great job all <laughs> Great around. Great job, Austria all around. I want to go to Austria. Decker. Let's just enjoy our biodynamic 
wine. When you cheer someone, you need to look them dead in the eyes, deep into their soul. I'm not gonna break eye contact now. All right, you're creeping me out. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Sparkling wine, kind of what you want with anything fatty. Just cuts right? the palate. Just Boop. cuts up. Zip. I kind of just want this with all with my everything. barbecue. We might just keep it. Bottle, please. <laughs> All right, Brad, you wanna start with potatoes or what? Well, let's, let's just talk about this. Looking at it, if you're not, it almost is like, whoa, is that mashed potatoes? Is that like weird tuna salad? You know, you, you don't we usually see the mash. Going in. Let's do it. Cold potato, potato salad, mashed in up. You want like eggs in chunks it? chunks of hard oh. boiled egg. You know, people don't do that enough. I love it. I wish there was like little chunks of potato in it. Oh, you want like a little more textural like, diversity? Like 90% mash, 10% little clump. Maybe you could put a word in. Philly. I like that though, the mash treatment like of it. the potato salad. It's delicious, I'm into that. easy eating. All right, I'm gonna try a pickle. You're the pickle master right well, now. Well, right? I mean, it's very, right, not very kind of you. That's mm. a perfect pickle for me. Got it. A ridge cut, a little wavy cut like oh, that. Oh, you like that. Whoa, 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 bud. I'm not bud. gonna, whoa, this is purely for science. I'm not gonna eat this. A little glass of rosé, guys, go right off the rails. <laughs> Before we get into the slaw, I wanna talk about slaw for a minute. I'm just gonna bite it. All right, you do it, I'll talk. Okay, go, ready? Actually, no, we'll both do it. Then no, 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 you talk, I'll eat, right, ready, right. action. Go. Um, okay, slaw, four distinct varieties, right? So you either have finely chopped creamy, yeah. finely chopped vinegar, long strand creamy, long strand vinegar. I am a finely chopped creamy kind of, well, kind yeah, of slaw Yeah, you guy. definitely are. Yeah, I mean, people know that about me. Take a good perfect bite. That looks like a perfect bite. Yeah. Cabbage, man, underrated. Cabbage, totally underrated. Oh. So this is queso man. mac and cheese. Isn't like all mac and cheese kind of like a queso mac and cheese? You know what, it's all about how you word it. I want a little hot sauce. I thought this was like a perfect bite. Mac and cheese, hot sauce, bop, bop. That's good. Mm. We've got our collards with oh. a smoked pork shoulder in there. Now, there's four types of collard greens. <laughs> well, here we go. Oh, all right, that. that's a good bite. Mm. And that's my favorite side so far. Pit beans, burnt <laughs> brisket tips. Yeah. Damn. Smoky. Super smoky. And you go to a barbecue, mm -hmm. right? And like someone's mom has like a tin tray of baked beans. Mm -hmm. That's what she wants. It's a that's one. what she wants it, and it never and, But it's not. Sorry to your mom. That's delicious. There's yeah, a richness. There's a vinegary richness. There is a nice bit of acid going on in there. I am gonna go with the, the collars for the best there. I wanna do this. Whoa. Yeah, get right in there, bud. I'm gonna, I'm gonna get it with the fork. What, are you civilized? Sometimes. All right. <sighs> I love that. Can we make our own menu item and that will be the one bite of that thing? Because that's what I'm gonna do. You just can't help yourself. No, I can't. Oh, big bite, bud. We're only, it's only half time. Beans and bread. Hometown B&B, Brad. That's what that is. Oh, big boy bite. Top three for me, this guy, this guy, this guy. The takeaway from this is just order one of everything. All right, we got a little Riesling here. Billy, I told you, is a wine with barbecue guy. Ooh. We're barbecue. gonna get real metaphorical here, Brad. Oh, you ready? Christ. Riesling, all about balance, right? About the acid and the sweetness playing off of each other. What else is about balance? Barbecue. There you go. We got four sandwiches. Yeah, Brad, we're on the sandwich course. Not yes. sure if you noticed. Should we start with the brisket? We got an onion bun there. Sticky sauce. Sticky sauce. White onion. Pickles. Look at that. You kinda have to bite that center. I bet you I bite in one bite the whole thing, huh? Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. The onions and the brisket work perfectly together. Yeah, That's delicious, cool. man. All right, let's keep moving. Next up, we got the pulled pork sandwich. Oh, juicy, huh? Real juicy. Get the squeeze shot. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> Perfect bite. Let's do it. Oh, more pickles in the center. I'm actually looking for an edge bite here. Look at that. I was I want... looking for the edge, too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm. 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 The immediate thing you can tell about good barbecue is that it doesn't just taste like smoke. This, the smokiness, is there. It's up front, but it feels clean, right? Hey, well, Billy's on to something. All right, third sandwich. Lamb belly bond meat. Oh, we've got looks... cilantro, we've got pickled veg, and then a little bit of uh, hot sauce up top. Is it hot sauce? No. Oh. It's like a, got a little sweetness to it, too. It's like a it's like a pepper jelly or something. What'd you say this is lamb belly? Lamb belly, yeah. It sounds so good. Oh, God. I noticed you struggle a little. It is a little more connective -y. Yeah, it's a fat bomb. You eat that with like a, a drink, like you Nap might- Nap time. Find yourself a little fireplace and lay down like a dog. <laughs> right on the floor. Right on, the, on a big like- Go in like a couple of circles and then just lay yeah. down. Also, I'm not sure if you did the Riesling yet with it, but- Oh, I, I can eat that whole thing. But we're not going to. No, just, just one bite, just I get it. Just one bite, man. Well, I got a question for you, Delaney. What's up? <laughs> How come we can have more than one sip of wine? <laughs> What's this? This is like a little turkey club, huh? This is the home well, town barbecue. Well, hold on. <laughs> it's not a club, right? There's only two pieces of bread. That's true. It's a BLT with turkey. Smoked turkey, right? Underrated in barbecue places. 100%. 
I will always say this. When I go to a barbecue place, I always order the turkey. That, to me, that's like the true yeah. indicator of whether or not they're doing a good job. The bacon element. Oh, the bacon. Thick cut thick slab. Cut. Whole pork belly goes in, rubbed with pastrami spices. Oh. Are you gonna throw the pickle in? Yeah, dude, perfect bite. Duh. I might even ditch the top layer of bread. Look at that. I'm going in. I'm just gonna say this right now. That's my favorite sandwich. What's your, uh, what's your front runner? Maybe the turkey. All right. Maybe the turkey, maybe the bond meat. I don't know. I don't want to make that decision right now. We don't have to right now. We can wait. Ribs. Oh, shit. Jesus. Look at that. That's insanity. Where should we start with the ribs? Ooh, full cut spare. That's looking awesome. pretty traditional. Ooh, right there. That's the spot. I'm going to go for this little flap right here. You like the flap? Like, yeah, that top piece right there. Brad, you're right on with that. Look at that. You got the bark up there. You're just going for it, huh? Yeah. All right. Two months. Very good. That's amazing. Perfect texture. Like, it breaks apart in your mouth with just a little bit of a bite. Nice smoke all the way through. The fat is just so, it just like, the fat just kind of melts in your mouth. You can tell people rush the barbecue. That's when if you bite into the fat and it's still gristly and it doesn't break down smoothly. Yeah, it's gotta render out, otherwise it's Totally, it. and it takes time. And then, jerk spiced baby back with a lot of scallions up there. Yeah, they're there. That's a bite. Not as crazy as I thought it was gonna be. I get more like vinegar than. With the vinegar, it reminds me of uh, Carolina style. There's like a floralness that habanero has. Tastes like there's some kind of habanero, but not real spicy. Now no. let's go for the big boy, huh? Love the crust on the beef. It's so intense. Awesome. Just caked on there. The bone is huge. I think you gotta cut into this. That's what I'm talking about. That's your about. bite, bud. Beef ribs. It's a little salt. My piece of bark had a nice bit of salt on it. Yeah. Now, imagine eating a whole one of this. You'd be dead. You probably shouldn't. If you're thinking about it, don't. You split that. The wine. That with the, that's. Yeah, huh? All right. That's what you want. Ooh, that cut's real nice. Perfect. Oh, I messed up. This was the spot. Ooh. Look at that, bud. Are you kidding me? All right, we'll do one more. <laughs> You're never gonna have me back on. Never. Ooh, that's a good spot, I know, man, it's a great spot. That was not where you ate from. I know. Oh, Delaney, go. Right in here. Yeah, I technically did not have this bite before with all three things going on, mm -hmm. so this is a new bite. That's, that's the bite, right? The texture of the beef rib. Mm, it almost reminds me of like the texture you get from like a braised pot roast. You know what I mean? Sure. Like kind of shredding apart, but still keeping its form, but you get that killer crispy, crunchy bark on top. I'm content. It's like, I'm, good. Yeah, yeah, I'm yeah. happy to have two bites of that <laughs> and then like not be sick of it. You know, like now I'm gonna fantasize about this for a couple days, you know, just have a little taste. You I'm know really what I'm happy. I'm really happy for you, Brad. Thank you. As we clean our hands off here, of the three ribs, what are you taking? I'm probably gonna say a full spare. The spare is nice. The beef is, I mean, it's one of those things you like crave, and then after like a couple bites, you're like, ugh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Brutal, oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, it's so rich, it's so heavy, it's so fatty. And I feel like that's the kind of thing you order, oh, you're with six people? Everyone has You get bit. one beef rib. All right, Brad, we've had a lot of barbecue so far. Yeah, we did all right, bud. Our boy Dave, the pit master here at Hometown. Pit master Dave, all right. He's gonna come have a little talk with us. Yeah, get him in here. Get him a little rosé. Dave, where you at? Where's your rosé? Come on, Rosé, sparkling. All right, the cheers. mind clang. Thank you. Rainy eyes. Yeah. There you go. Dave, give me uh, give me the brief rundown of hometown. I know Billy is the man responsible for Billy this. Billy Derny, yeah. So Derny was um, in private protection for many years and had started to cook barbecue and, and cook it to his friends at the pub and they're all like, oh my god, this is amazing. You should open a restaurant. And he did it. <laughs> private protection. So Billy was a bodyguard. He was a bodyguard. Badass. Yeah. He found this place, I guess in maybe 2011, opened in 2012. But he basically had the place set up and then Sandy hit. And as you know, Red Hook got oh, yeah, just, oh, yeah. decimated Blast. down here. Yeah. So, yeah. I mean, they had like nine feet of water in here. He had to pretty much start wow, again. Yeah. Yeah, but what it did do, it, it enabled him to uh, cook for the neighborhood, build that community, and then, as he says in his own words, actually learn how to cook for that amount of people. You guys got a couple of locations now, right? Yeah, we have our um, second spot in Industry City, and then we've got the spot in uh, Miami. Miami, just, huh? just opened, right? Just opened. <laughs> Better than Vegas. That's Miami's slogan. Miami. <laughs> Better than Vegas. <laughs> if you were to sit down at hometown, like first timer walking in, Oh, first time. What's, we, it, what's it gonna the, be? Gonna start with the wings, head into the tacos. Okay. Bacon, which you guys I don't think have done. We haven't done bacon yet. Haven't done bacon yet? No. Uh, and that kind of gives you a nice base, and then I'll, uh, oh, did I say sticky ribs? You, I mean, you have to get the sticky ribs. Sticky ribs are nice. And the spares, it's all, it's really hard to tell. So everything, get one of everything. <laughs> we got a show idea. So we're one doing of everything. We've got some barbecue by the pound coming up. 
final round. We got some barbecue by the pound. Yeah, we do. We got pounds of it. Where should we start? It's your show, bud. You, let's pick, start, you pick. Let's start with the uh, the pulled guys. Okay. Pulled pork. So you got one with a little bit of the uh, crispy crispy end on there. Oh, juicy. That's phenomenal. You can tell there's some mustard going on I'm in there. I'm not a huge pulled pork fan. To be quite honest, neither am I. When it's but bad, just... it's so bad. It gets yeah, like oh compacted God. and oh, chalky yeah. and dry. This is nice. Two, two bites of everything? I took a with very, very... All right, you took a half bite. I did take a half bite. All right, we've got that lamb breast yes. that Dave was talking about right here. That's a nice bite. That's right the there. bite right there, bud. That's a bite. Stringy in, a, in the best way. Oh my God, so tender. Wow. I love lamb. That little piece I just had might have been the best bite I've had all day. Disregarding seasoning, disregarding sauce, disregarding the animal, anything. Yeah, the, the animal itself. It's like gamey it's without not... being totally gamey. A little uh, smoked turkey. Screw the fork. Yeah, we're gonna take Get it. Get in there. This comes apart I love just how great so it. cleanly yeah. and nicely, like. Oh. It's so good. That makes me like. One, incredibly happy, but also two, incredibly sad that I'm not gonna eat the rest of that. <laughs> like I said earlier, if a barbecue joint isn't nailing their turkey, get out. Get out. You cut. You cut from the team, bud. And then uh, we got the Oaxacan chicken with some pickled red onion and uh, salsa verde up top. You want the leg or you want the thigh? My, one of my favorite parts of chicken is the flap on the thigh. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's the chunk. You want half, bud? Uh, we'll do the same bite. Yeah. Come on, man. We can, we're it's creating our perfect shit, bite here. That's what you want. Very good. That salsa is really nice. I'm starting to get the like the weird like little like sh ugh, like shakes like. Oh, you mean all the salt and fat that we've consumed is your body actually is getting like, to your body? Stop. It's like, bro, it's enough. Got the pastrami bacon. Get in there and rip it. There you go, bud. That's insane. Tender, delicious. Pastrami spice on the outside though. It's nice. Real nice. So what, they smoke it, they pastrami it or whatever? They'll slice it, then crisp it up on the flat top because you oh. get that texture all the way down. Got the uh, house-made Italian sausage. Dude, I hit a wall of stop eating. Holy shit. Dave is not getting a provolone in There's there. There's a lot of provolone in there. Very good, oh my god. You're on the doorstep, bud. Woo! Got the brisket. Yeah. That where you can pull it and it separates, but it doesn't totally fall apart. And it's all the all the tissues are still kind of stuck together, but you can kind of maybe see me through it a little bit. Brisket going down. Good. All right, Brad, let's talk about favorites overall. Get it out of here. We need to... <laughs> Just get it out We're of here. We're losing it. Great, that one. <laughs> I think the turkey. Turkey was your favorite. Was it because you're just over <laughs> red meat at this point? We have a little dessert, banana pudding. A little banana pudding. Oh, banana pudding, oh, which yeah. honestly is one of my favorite desserts. Little nooners. What language are you speaking, man? Baby. You can tell that you have you have a couple kids. No, that's my vocabulary level. <laughs> it's good. Tastes like banana pudding. Mm. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Good. Yeah. I want. I need pudding to be like ice cold. Ever? If it's ice cold though, that's it's called a popsicle. Dude, I'm kidding. I mean, I'm that kidding, was man. The, that was the worst joke <laughs> ever. <laughs> I can't believe I did this show with you. You know why we did the show? To find out what the three best things on the menu were. And I think we did. Yeah, we had a little powwow. We, we uh, did some work. We did some we real work. We got some work done. People think this is just we sit around and- Oh, we drink rosé. We spend hours debating. Pour that in the Pros and all cons. Day. All right, so number one, this is the grail. This is the menu item of all menu items. When you're whoa, coming whoa. here, you love this is shit. the one thing <laughs> you're gonna order. We both really love the, the full spare rib. It stood out to, I think, to both of us. Yeah, it was juicy, the, the texture. The texture was, to me, the thing that just like, that was perfection. Was perfect. Seasoning was nice on it. The, the crust on the outside versus that meat on the inside. And number two. So number two is the next time around. The next time you come in after you had your spare ribs. The shredded lamb breast. The lamb breast was awesome. The flavor of the lamb compared to everything else. The texture. It goes a little deeper. You get the contrast of the crispiness yeah. of the outside, that perfectly tender, shreddy interior. It's fatty and it's heavy in its own way. It does eat lighter than, say, a brisket or yes. like a beef rib or something. Totally. And that, with a little bit of pickle or white onion, oh, yeah. brighten it all up. Yeah, home run, bud. Home run. Number three, the dark horse, the <laughs> hidden gem, the regular's pick. Yeah. The person who knows this menu front to back is gonna know. You're making this up. No, I say this every time. <laughs> <laughs> it's the smoked turkey. Smoking it when it's done well really just like 
captures what I love about turkey so much. That seasoning is penetrated all the way throughout it. Super tender. Yeah. It was just a delight to eat. And the flavor of that smoke, that wood. Yeah, you can't. Perfect you can't all the way throughout. It's so you really good. can't. Our fourth, our, our bonus round, little and it went, fizzy rose. It went so well with, with the barbecue. Balanced wine, it's gonna make barbecue a lot better. Right, and like we were saying, it just cuts the palate. And when you're eating such heavy foods, and usually yeah, fatty you need to foods, refresh. it cleans the palate and it, it kind of invites food back. Hometown Barbecue, thanks for serving all of this crazy good barbecue to us. Brad, thanks for joining me. Oh, thank you, man, it was my pleasure. Oh yeah, aren't we, wait, aren't we supposed to like in the BA universe, Delaney. aren't we supposed to hate each other? Yeah, well I secretly do hate you, Delaney. And thank with you. that, I'm Alex Delaney. Thanks for joining, <laughs> bon appetit.